So before the video starts, huge shout out to Mute Team for letting me use his art for this thumbnail. Uh, he's a great artist. Please check him out. Link will be down in the description down below. And yeah, let's do this. <laughs> guys welcome back to another dragon ball Legends video and today we just got a new update for this game so of course if you guys are brand new to the channel don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and let's do this now of course let me quickly read the official dragon balls tweet now of course we are adding a future a feature where you can try characters featured in the summons so ultra mode is also changing so that remains active even when we do use arts cards abilities and rising rush and hope you guys are excited for this update so this is really good i'm not gonna lie uh boss events like story events like sh little shit like that in Dragon Ball legends just in case you're busy doing something like and you're doing something else on the side and it's kind of good that they kind of kind of fix that in a way so obviously your units when they're in auto mode will use obviously your rush, the abilities and arts cards uh, consistently in the game, so which is good. Now the tri characters in the summons kind of reminds me of Marble Future Fight. If you ever played that game, it's one of like my favorite second mobile game where you can kind of test the units, uh, you know, abilities and like you know, different combos. So I don't know if Dragon Ball Legends is doing like the Marvel Future uh, fights route with him. So which is kind of interesting, but I don't know if they're gonna, uh, if I don't know if we're gonna actually physically use the characters in game, or they're just gonna put us in like a training room and then test units out, maybe using like a you know like a Cyberman enemy, and then obviously try and test like their main, their arts card obviously the combos as well so i don't know if they're gonna do that or just do like the marvel future fights where you just test out like the ultimates uh, arts cards and many more like that so it's kind of cool to see Dragon Ball legend to do that and it does you know i would say it will increase players to obviously summon on the banner obviously for me like a free to play player it would actually you know put some few chrono crystals into the banner and you know get the unit that i want obviously testing them out in like in a training mode or in some other places like that so yeah it's pretty cool to see dragon ball legends step it in to do something like this and hopefully we do see more of this type of shit in the near future now obviously returning events uh rising battle broly fury broly super saiyan broly and the event broly now i think what I think right now, I think they are going to Zenkai Awakening the free to play Fury Broly, which is understandable because right now Fury Broly is only like a, I would say he's kind of like a support unit for like the movie Sagas and I think Freezer Force. And if he gets in a Zenkai Awakening in the second anniversary, it would be really cool to see, not gonna lie, and he will be usable. I feel like he will be one of the best free to play units in the game like he would because you you have so many rosters on the few uh sorry on the freezer force and uh, saga from the movies which is ridiculous so i wouldn't be surprised if they just extreme z awaken this man but he is very good now we are getting the new uh hyper dimensional co-op and uh, this is really good of course uh, so this one is kaioken times 10 so this is super super cool obviously hopefully they don't you know make him too hard it would be really good obviously to keep us active before the second anniversary comes to the game so that's nice and um, so obviously their pre-anniversary login bonus i feel like everyone needs to do this period like like you guys have to log in every day because they're gonna give you crazy dumb uh stuff like chrono crystals and uh, so soul boost many more even training items get tickets like many more so obviously you guys have to freaking do it like there's no way you have to miss a day by logging in so you have to do it every single day before the anniversary starts then obviously the last one legends selection obviously 
at least one sparking character guaranteed in one collective summon um let's be honest right here okay this banner is trash can i be honest with you because see for the happy weekend banner right the happy weekend banner is one of the most trash ass banners because it's not even 50 percent if you guys see my three videos of me summoning on that banner i always get ex units and now they want you to summon on this trash ass banner even though they have one of like the best units in the game on this banner like obviously uh, super baby 2 super saiyan 4 super saiyan uh for goku vegeta uh, oh whoa rose super saiyan 2 gohan and many more so i don't know boys um uh it's like it's like 10 percent drop rate uh bro i just i i really don't trust that i'm not gonna lie to you guys um i wouldn't say to someone on this just save your corner question for the second anniversary guys like i'm gonna do it i'm not gonna make a video of me summoning on this even though i do want to summon because i don't have rose and i don't have super saiyan 4 uh, vegeta or baby so yeah i'm not summoning because i know for a guarantee fact like all these units are in this banner is going to be in the second uh, in the second anniversary banner so of course guys please don't do it you're gonna regret it man you're just going to regret it so anyways hope you guys do enjoy uh this quick news update obviously if you guys haven't already subscribed subscribe right now I'm trying to reach 5k before maybe i don't know july or something uh it's possible right now because right now we be doing some crazy numbers in the youtube analytics right now we have we're literally getting like 10k views in 48 hours like <laughs> that is crazy and yeah you guys let me know are you excited for this hype are you excited for the second anniversary units and yeah i'm super happy uh, hopefully they do zenkai uh fury broly the free play unit because he is very very underrated and he is good for both uh tag teams so hope you guys do enjoy the rest of the day and yeah i'll see you guys next time